What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 15 in the third grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that Chantel has 56 stickers. She'll give all the stickers to eight friends, and each friend will receive the same number of stickers. And we're trying to figure out which equation is going to help Chantel decide how many stickers and to give to each friend. Now this question is going to test your ability to translate a problem and also just the basics of an equation where we work with an unknown something we don't really know yet. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the translating piece. If you've seen my other videos where I talk about translating problems, you know that whenever I see each, every, and per, that's one of my keywords that tells me that I'm going to be multiplying. And since it says each friend will receive the same number of stickers, I know that I can translate this problem into a um, word math sentence type thing. Where my friends times my stickers is going to equal the total number of stickers that Chantel has, so 56. And now to fill in some of that information, we know that Chantel has eight friends. So I can replace friends with the number 8, and this is going to be multiplied by how many stickers n. So since it says that n is the number of stickers and we don't know what n is yet, this is going to end up looking like 8 times n. 8 friends times some number of stickers equals 56. Now we are not actually supposed to try and solve this. There have been other problems that deal with equations where we've had to actually solve the equation, but for now we're just looking for the answer choice that says something like 8 times n equals 56. Um, another thing that we could look for is I could use fact families, and we could say that 56 divided by n equals 8, or 56 divided by 8 equals n. Any of these three equations, if we see them show up in our answer choices, could be correct but there's only one that matches any of these three equations that we could get from um, our fact family, and that's choice B, where 8 times n equals 56. Now, I didn't actually need to write out the fact family um, equations for this problem, but it is helpful to do, um, especially when you work with an equation and there's multiple different ways to write it.